Hello guys, Zuljin here. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Guys, thank y'all so much for all the love and support on the Ark series. As always, if you do enjoy the videos, give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can also subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. So, I'm over in... Let's see if I could show you. I am over in this area here uh, about 80 longitude 53 latitude somewhere around there this is a swamp biome that i've seen a couple times before and the gigantic Giganticopus. <laughs> the gorillas spawn around here. So I had to kill a Rex a little bit early, and there was one around, and I was like, well, you know what? I'm going to show it off because I know that these things were pretty hard to find for me. There's a couple points on my map that I'm marked. Um, before I get too deep into it, let's see. I could show you. So there's another one at around latitude 65, longitude 35. And there's a one a little bit west of me as well, but this swamp area seems to have them a little bit more frequently. The one Maz and Slipgator and I tamed where it was over at, um, let's see, that one was like right south of the compound in that little pothole that we have. Uh, but anyway, there is one around here, and I think it's a male. I have already tamed a female named Harriet. Ah, there he is. What level are you? Yeah, I already tamed a female named Harriet, and... I need a male to mate boost him, so this is going to be it. Now, I've discovered some things, too. These guys can form thatch really, really well, like super well. So that's going to be one of the things that, uh, that I might experiment with. And also, very, very, very good at harvesting fiber autonomously. So I just fed it the mejo. Very good. And I need to eat something. I think I still have plenty of food on me. I hope I do, at least. Let's see here. It doesn't look like I have a whole lot. I might have to resort to berries, but that's no problem. I could form some. Uh, or I could just make a little fire out here while I'm taming them. That probably is a good idea. Let's harvest this guy up that we killed earlier. This should give us some good meat. I know more. you get more from, uh, from using your pickaxe, but I don't really need a lot right now. Okay, let's get some firewood. And we'll grab some flint from that rock, too. Let's go ahead and get a feeding on this guy right quick. Boom. Yep. Oh, I think he saw me. Yeah, he's mad. <laughs> yeah, they get mad. So a, a hotfix just went through a little while earlier. And it was supposed to have kind of softened up the way that they aggro. Uh, so I found out it's, it's relatively the same process. And if I'm not mistaken, it takes a little bit longer for them to... Um, to, to actually feed. So this guy should drop aggro, aggro any minute now. Maybe not. <laughs> Come on, guy. I don't want to mean you no harm. I just want to give you some medjo berries. There we go. All right. Let's get a little bit of flint and stone here. And we should be able to make a fire now. No problem. So I just fed him. So I should have a little while. Let's see. Do we have enough stuff to make a fire? Uh, the answer is yes. All right, so we'll make a fire, and we'll set that to cook the meat that we have so that we don't need to worry about it. Uh, let's see here. Oh, don't get too close, buddy. Don't get too close. Let's see. Can we give him a quick feeding before we set this fire down and stuff? Where'd he go? Yoo-hoo! So Harriet is the female <laughs> and I guess this is gonna be Harry Harry and Harriet right uh, okay let's see right behind him boom fed nice alright now where did I put speedy speedy there you are I just wanna put the fire close by okay we'll go ahead and set the fire down I hope he doesn't burn himself or anything on this thing that would be so sad right all right, light fire. Now we've got some meat cooking, so we shouldn't have to worry about it. So yeah, this 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 little taming mini game is is a lot of fun. Like at first, it was a little aggravating when we were trying to figure it out yesterday, but I gotta tell you guys, it's pretty cool being able to tame him like this. It's <laughs> it's an adventure every single time. The other one was a little bit hard to tame too, and I think she started out as only level twelve. She was really really really. Um, she was really low level, and I had saw another one around here that was level 60-something, but it was another female, and I really wanted a mate boost thing. 
Another thing is Armitage and Menace, um, the Australian guys that play on this server, put together a method to make kibble for these guys. Well, at least to get the eggs from the Titan Bow is uh, easier than going through caves, which is really, really cool. I'll link that video in the description. Hopefully you guys will check that out because it's a really cool concept. So anyway, I'm going to continue feeding this guy, Harry, the new, <laughs> the new gorilla, and then I'm going to take him back to base. And there we go, guys. <laughs> and we're going to name him Harry. So let's see. I didn't have time to get the to, to record what the taming effect on this was, but it looks like he's level 43, which is significantly higher than my other one. And that one... What the heck? Is that really another one already? Oh my god, this must be my lucky day. That one's a level 68 female, a brown one. Really, really cool. I think I'm going to tame that one too. I might as well. I'm out here already. I'm going to have to tame, get a little bit more medjo berries to do it, but we could definitely start the process. Uh, let's move Harry over where Speedy's at. To keep safe. Very cool. Let's look at his stats too, right quick. Looks like we have almost a thousand health, almost 570 stamina, a weight of 224, melee of 223, and a movement speed of 106. Very, very cool. All right, we definitely gonna start taming this other one. Time to start picking berries. All right, guys, she is very, very close. I just got <laughs> a little bit too close and made her mad. She's probably gonna smack me around a little bit. Come on, baby, calm down. You're almost there. Uh uh. <laughs> that was just a love tap. I know. I know you didn't mean it, honey. There you go, sweetheart. That's a good girl. Alright. No, no, no. You don't need to follow me no more. I need to get behind you. Probably one or two more feedings, I'm thinking. There was one more. I don't know if y'all saw the taming bar, but it's really, really, really close. You don't necessarily have to sprint, but I find it easier. I've had a pretty good success rate right here. Ouch! <laughs> and I say that now. Um, by the way, you have to be really, really careful where you take these because if they get hit at any time, if they take any damage during the taming process, they'll reset. And if you get them too close to your uh, dinos, then they'll try to attack your dinos too. So you have to be real, real, real careful. So this is actually a really, really good area. It's wide open. There's mostly passive mobs here. Uh, every once in a while, I see like a Meganura or something. Um, but for the most part, it's uh, it's relatively tame. I did have to kill that one T-Rex here. But, I mean, one Rex rather than 100 Dillos that can mess up a tame is much better in my opinion. Uh, that was one last one. I wish you can see with the, um, with the scope, man. Because if you use... The spyglass, all you get is their level. It doesn't show, like, any of the other information. Let's see if we can get this right here. Done! <laughs> nice. Okay, so we have Harry and Harriet. So now we need Henrietta, and we're going to have a Henry, too. Henrietta? Henrietta, I think. I before E except after C. We should be good. Henry, <laughs> if it's not right, I'll change it. But anyway, all right. So, Henrietta's here. Why am I making him follow? We're going to ride. Let's ride, baby. All right. So, what level? I'm going to compare some stats right quick. Let's see. Where did Harry go? And Speedy. Okay. So, here we go. Ah, made boosted, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So let's see here. I might change up the names too, but uh, y'all y'all gonna see Harry. It's a beautiful color. So this is level 43. We got almost a thousand health and 570 stamina and 223 and 106. 1500 health, 780 stamina, 273 melee damage and 106. So it looks like melee is oh it's 50 percent higher on Henrietta, which is really, really cool. So, 89 and 43, really, really good. So, if I make both of these follow, we shouldn't have that much long of a trek here. I usually make speedy follow too. Uh, speedy, follow, okay, there we go. And now we're gonna whistle to, whistle neutral, and then we're gonna make speedy passive. And then we're going to ride 
I guess we can ride Harry, because Henrietta's pretty good off, alright? So, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to make these guys, like, the statistics a little bit differently. Because naturally, one of them I'm going to ride around a lot more, so I'm thinking it'll be speed and melee on Henrietta. And I might go for, like, hit points, or... I don't know yet. <laughs> I'm not too sure. But I'd like to mess around a little bit with some, some forming. First of all, when you hit trees with these guys... So 25 thatch, 2 wood, sort of like what you'd see with a trike, except they don't grab berries, which is really, really good, guys. Like, one of the things that I've been wanting to worry about for, for thatch forming is the fact that uh, I had a high-level stego to do that. And I was thinking about getting a high-level trike, but they get so many berries that it's really, really, really impractical. So these guys are going to be perfect to get thatch from. Uh, so let's go right here and knock down a couple of trees. That's 29 thatch, 53 thatch. Yeah, we're going to have to up the melee damage. We're probably going to up the melee damage on Harriet, which is back at the base, honestly, to tell you the truth. And that way, um, that can be our former. And maybe... I don't know yet. I don't know who's going to be our warrior here, but we'll see. And it's probably going to be the one I'm riding now. But anyway, you guys, I got a long trip back here. Let's see. We need to head east from here, and I think, let's get my bearings right, I think this is east. Let me run a little bit and I'll see. And we've made it home. Very, very cool. So, we'll get to introduce <laughs> the new pair to the new gorilla. Let me go get, let me go get Harriet, guys. All right, so Harriet, well, let me close the door because Red Man is on roam. And let me grab... <laughs> I'll put her in the house. This is Harriet. Harriet has got an awesome color. She's like white and black. I don't know how close she is to the color scheme of... Um, of him, of Harry here. A little bit different. There's Red Man. So, let's, let's compare. Actually... I think they're just the same. So, Harriet and Harry are like, <laughs> that's awesome. So, I'm going to need Henrietta to find a brown mate, I guess, called Henry. I don't know. I'm going to have to look around for him. But that's really, really cool. Um, so, the, the next thing I need to do is make sure all of these guys have flak. Harry, can I have my helmet back, please? <laughs> I need to make them flak armor so that they can be a little bit better protected. And um, that's going to be some of the best helmets money can buy. I mean, 143 armor is pretty darn good. Uh, mining helmets are actually a little bit better, but I don't even wear those because they're so hard to, to repair and stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to get these guys some helmets working. Let's see what kind of supplies we have for the... Um, I know we're probably let's let's take a look at the blueprints that we have right now to see make sure I don't have a flak helmet. Uh, it does not look like I have a flak helmet at all. I guess I'm gonna go to the forge and make them. All right, you guys, we just went up to the mountain to grab a little bit of metal because we were a little low. So I'm just gonna get let's run. I need <laughs> I needed a lot less than that, but you know when you're up there, you might as well pick it all up. And this should be all we need to to do the last one. Sweet, so now I'm going to have three ramshackle flak helmets for the gorillas, which are really, really, really cool. And I guess I'm going to skin them. I don't know if I should skin them differently or skin them the same. I'm not too sure what I should do. I'm glad those things can't burn down the place. Anyway, I'm going to head back and equip. Alright guys, here's the battle squad all equipped up. You know, I had the dime in my colors. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. I'm probably going to skin their hats a little bit differently as I get helmets and stuff. Maybe I could do some of the skins. Like, I've already got one of these... Um, these Rex Bone Helmet skins, and when I took the uh, the the leather hat off and deskinned it, uh, the skin disappeared. So I might have to die a few times to make that thing respawn. I don't know, but at any rate, I've got my battle squad ready now. I do want to take them up the mountain to try them out because I think they're going to be a force to be reckoned with. But I thought I would give y'all a few updates. So 
after the Artemis thing, by the way, thank y'all for all the, the comments and chimed in. I knew about the god, the Greek gods and stuff like that too. Um, I didn't actually know what she was the god of, but uh, Artemis in Treri is actually a character in the Drizzt Duerden saga. So that's why you guys were probably like, what, but it's a girl or it's a boy or whatever the case may be. The fact of the matter is Artemis from the books that I've read, the inspiration that I got the name from was male. So anyway, that's a done deal. Now... If we go to here, a few of you noticed that I did have another Rex that I tamed, and his name was Zach Nathian. Now, this is another character from the Drizzt Duerden Saga. He was a really, really high-level Rex, and I couldn't really pass it up. So, uh, I want a few of these as guards. Once I get the uh, the base to where I can, I can really station them where they're supposed to be, they're going to be stationed all around here, and they're going to be doing some guarding for me, because I do get the occasional Alpha Raptor that spawns up into the mountains, and it's much better that I can do that. So, last but not least, some base updates. So, I have been putting together some base. Now, well, some base components. And you can see some ceilings up there. So, uh, I might as well get on a flyer to show you because this is going to be um, a little bit of a thing. So, as you can see, I put the pillars in the corners. Now, I had to change the platform to 9x9 nine nine, and I had to dismantle all the behemoth gates and the behemoth gate frames. It sucked a lot. It's like over 1500 stone easy. Um, so naturally, I didn't have a whole lot of time to get together components for the top, but I started placing them at least, and they fit quite well. A few of you were saying that you could put fence foundations up there, and some people actually said electrical wire would hold the ceilings, but they really didn't. So I started playing around with it. You could see where some electrical wire was up here that wasn't supporting the ceilings. There was some more that I had put, but I scrapped most of it. I need to get back up here. And also, I ended up getting a uh, the the four platforms started with a ladder so that I can get up here. So if I drop Urtu down here, I'll climb up and I'll show you. So the ladder deal was a little bit easier to do, and now that I could get up there, because it's really really hard to drop yourself on a platform with those birds. Like when you dismount, it's just I don't know, you kind of fall funny. So y'all saw my fiasco that I did with my fiomias up there and stuff. But um, this is a pretty cool setup right here. So I can walk on these, but I'm not going to because sometimes I fall off. Um, and I'll show y'all when I get down there in a second. But it looks like you can extend two from or three from actually. So. I don't know if it's going to meet up in the middle, and I don't know how I'm going to do the rest of the floor. I might have to put a support column in the middle or something like that. I'm really not sure, but so far, so good. I, I'm, I'm going to continue working with this. I would like to make it a lot higher using walls and maybe even some more behemoth gates. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet, but at any rate, it's coming together slowly. The pillars in the corners were really, really hard to do, and I'll go down there and I'll show you that. So I did the pillars in the corners, and I, I don't know how high they were, but they took quite a few pillars, and I've also had to extend the ones down here so that it could be a 9x9. Nine nine. Now, if I go any further back, as you can see, the drop-off gets pretty significant. So the material cost keeps going up and up and up and up, but that's why I haven't torn down my house yet, because it's it's a go-between while I do my base. So my base is not going to happen overnight. I know a lot of you people like, finish your base, man. My base is going to be a long build and I don't want to just sit here and grind for hours and hours and hours I like to do it as I go and when I get a building idea I try it so the next setup is going to be to try to put an official cap on this roof and I'm also going to see how there's a gap space in between there like if I go to my spyglass you see how there's a gap space between there I'm gonna hang some walls from there so don't fret it's gonna look real good uh, and I'm hoping like I said to maybe even put behemoth gates uh, up there too so the tower is extended I'd like to do that a few times if possible just to make like a really really tall tower and then I can have some extensions coming off of it different sections of my base because I'm dying to install the grill that Slipgator gave me because that thing is bananas and <laughs> speaking of bananas let's go mess around with these guys so I think what I'm gonna do is make them all follow me <laughs> and I'm gonna take them all out for a spin.
Well, guys, we made some new friends, we had some fun, we showed some progress, and we got some training done. I think we could call that a heck of a day. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button for me to show you support for the series, and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Zuljin signing off, and we'll see you next time. Let's see if we can launch. Woo! <laughs>